Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Pirelli Premium Sport Bike and Track Tire Guide, available at Revzilla.com. In this video, we're going to walk through the three key styles of Pirelli tires. We know Pirelli is super premium. They've been around for over 100 years. They make premium sport and track tires that you consistently see in World Superbike, in the AMA. They make high-end products for a myriad of different riding styles. In this video, we're going to walk through the sport tires that also transgress into the track and race applications. Now remember, if you're a cruiser guy, you're, wearing, you're a Night Dragon guy. If you're an off-road guy, you're in the Scorpion. And if you're a touring guy, the Pirelli Angel is going to be your tire. Really, this family, which is the Diablo family from Pirelli, is going to be set up for sport bikes. We're looking at tires that only come in 17-inch rim sizes. They come in a few different sizes as you work your way up for different front and rears. And really, they are set up a little bit good, better, best, but that's with a caveat. So you have to think of different application when you get into these tires. The first tire I have on my right is the Diablo Rosso 2, which is the step up from the Diablo, which is going to be your entry level price point sport tire. You have the Diablo Rosso Corsa, which is really a 50 50 road and track day tire. And then as you get up here, it's the Diablo Super Corsa SP, which really is a street version of a DOT race tire. And this is really for hardcore track and race scenarios. So let's talk about the nuances. You know, really price points, you have the Diablo Rosso 2 starting around $100, with the, the fronts are always going to be slightly less than the rears on the Diablo Rosso 2. The Diablo Rosso Corsas are going to start around that $150 range in the mid price point between one and 200. And then as you get up to the more aggressive and really technical, you have the Diablo Super Courses SPs, which are going to be around that just under $200 range. So that gives you an idea of the specificity and the investment you're making across these tires. So let's start with the Diablo Rosso 2. Dual compound. It's out of this bunch, it's going to be providing the best wet grip. It's really the Diablo Rosso 2 is a street tire that you can do a track day with. That's really how you need to think about it. So you look at the tire groove, the patterns here. There are multiple different sizes, dual compound. So you're really getting for a higher mileage, and you're getting get about 5,000 miles out of the reel. And again, I'm just ballparking. You can't hold me to that. It really depends on how you ride and in what conditions. But what you're getting is a harder compound. In the, that's about 75% of the middle through the transversal or the shoulder of the tire as you move to start in the middle and move out from the center. So really the softer compound on this tire is all the way out on the edge here on the chicken strips. Now again, you're getting the deepest groove and the most aggressive wet grip tread pattern, so you're going to get the best west handling. And you can do a track day on this, guys, but these are, this is more for a tire for somebody who rides a hardcore sport bike that aggressively wants to ride on the street. And really, you know, 5,000 miles isn't that much, but again, it's going to outlast these two tires, which are more aggressive in their setup for track days. And this is the Diablo Rosso 2. As we move into what I consider out of these three the most popular tire, this is the Diablo Rosso Corsa. It's got Corsa in the name. Corsa means race. So you're looking at it. It's still going to have that tread pattern that's going to give you some wet grip traction, but it's not aggressive as the Rosso 2. So you have that wet grip traction. It's going to be, it's going to be more suited for a 50-50 track versus street application. So you're buying this tire if you know you're going to the track. It's dual compound as well, but the dual compound's different. Now you have 33% of your harder compound towards the middle, and as you move through the transversal towards the edge, you're getting a wider patch of soft compound. So when I go there, so there's your 33% out on each way. You really have it broken up into thirds, and it's going to go it's going to go soft, hard, soft as you move to the other shoulder. The other thing you need to know about the Diablo Rosso Corsa, and again, it's, it's, you're going to get about 3,000 miles out of a rear. And again, I'm just ballparking, but it's more set up to be more hardcore for the track and for race conditions, still have some wet grip traction, still be comfortable on the road, and it will do a great job. It'll be really sticky when it heats up, but again, it's getting into that more specific range. From the Diablo Rosso Corsa, now you go to the Diablo Super Corsa SP. And like I said, this is a street version of a DOT race tire. This is actually the stock tire that you see come on an 848, on a 1098, on an 1198, you know, Triumph Daytona 675s. This is very much, now there are going to be some wet grip channels here, but again, this is a, this is primarily a dry grip tire. It's track scenarios. It's mono compound, so it's the same soft compound all the way throughout. I mean, we're not talking thousands of miles here. We're talking about how hardcore do you ride it on the track and how long is it going to last, and it comes down to perf personal preference. Once this he tire heats up, it becomes very sticky. And again, it's the Super Corsa SP, which is very aggressive top end. The price points on this guy is going to start just under that $200 range. Now, there is an SC, but you can't get the SC from anybody but a specific Pirelli track day provider at the track. It's one of those tires that you really can't find on the internet. 
internet or in stores. And again, this is the Super Corsa SP, which is going to be the top of the food chain. Tremendous grip, tremendous traction, you know, single compound all the way throughout the entire profile of the tire for the best grip and the most aggressive scenarios and the speed rating on these guys is all the way it's maxed out on each one of the tires so remember within the families of Pirelli they're making super premium tires this is going to be the sport family the 17 inch rims the ones that are going to be a mixture of street a mixture of street and track and then really geared just for the track itself as you get towards the, the hardcore let us know what you think about the Pirelli side of things we have a lot of guys on staff that swear by them that ride them it's a super premium brand it's funny to look at Pirelli in Europe it's a complete lifestyle brand they think of t they think of this brand as much more all-encompassing than just a tire manufacturer it's been around for over a hundred years just leave us your feedback on on Facebook on our product detail page or on YouTube you can leave us comments you can ask questions we're always happy to take them there let us know what your experiences was like and you can always subscribe to us at Rev Zilla TV on our YouTube page. Stay up to date with all the new gear reviews that we're continually breaking down. As always, if you have any questions, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. And any tire in our mix is over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send them back to us. And get our team Zilla cash on any order over 100 bucks. It allows you to save money towards your next purchase here at RevZilla.com. We hope that this demystifies the tire buying process within the sport bike family of tires and the premium track tires from Pirelli, available at RevZilla.com. Pirelli, thanks for watching our premium sport bike and track tire Pirelli tire breakdown and guide at RevZilla. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.